Okay, so this is going to happen a lot. I don't know how to say people's names. Radan Ruzanov? Radan Ruzanov? I don't know. Please forgive me. I am sheltered. I live in my parents' basement. But to make up for the fact that I'm so stupid and ugly and uh, not deserving of oxygen, um, I, uh, I'm going to drink a 7-Eleven cola for you um, instead of a Coca-Cola. I went for a walk and um, I saw the city and my YouTube will have a video of me seeing the city later but I thought I'd do this first because my battery is kind of low. I think I need to trim my beard. I think this 7-Eleven Cola, which is only a dollar for uh, 591 milliliters, I think it has ginseng in it. Contaminated water, color, phosphoric acid, aspartame, contains phenylalanine, Potassium. This has bananas in it. Oh, there's a lot of potassium in caffeine, which is what we... Fuck. We need caffeine. Uh, because it's 3.36 in the morning. So just relax and <coughs> nothing special. I'm tired. There were some people in front of a bar at like fucking 3.30 in the morning talking to each other. And a woman said, you look like one of those Dundas West people. And like, I've been here longer than them. They don't get to decide what Dundas West looks like. And there are people who have been here longer than me. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just jealous they have friends. So I thought I was over my sore throat, but I can still feel a little bit right there. And uh, the lymph nodes don't seem to be lymphing. Someone left this right in front of my back door. I'm afraid it's a death threat. It's 3.38 a.m. I walked for two hours, which is why I am low energy and enjoying 7-Eleven Cola. I think time moves slowly when you don't drink alcohol. And I know it's been th three months without alcohol, but I keep itching, it's this itch inside of me to be able to tell people it's been four months when I've been feeling that itch for like four days and. If I was drunk, four days would be like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But going out in the middle of the night at um, you 
you know, in a big city where it could be dangerous, and I did see some people who looked dangerous. I think they were drug dealers. I might make a coffee, I don't know. I don't know, I should sleep. I woke up at like 10 p.m. Just get these emotional schlocks and need to sleep. And what is this? Oh, that's my Starbucks card. I brought my clonazepam with me in case I got too freaked out, but I did not need it. And I can have one more before bed, but I do not feel like sleeping soon. There was a hookah a hookah bar open and I could smell the hookah smoke and um, I think I saw a few prostitutes I'm going to look up prostitute because I think they want to be called sex workers and I don't know what is wrong with the word prostitute. I know it's what the police use and maybe they don't want to use the same word the police use. So what Prostitute. Prostitution. Sometimes described as commercial sex. They, of course, have to mention the world's oldest profession. That must piss a lot of people off that they're always saying that. Okay. I don't know. Can't find anywhere where it says why they don't want to be called that. You see, a lot of these um, left-wing social justice issues are pretty in line with, like, biblical, Catholic, or even Jewish or Muslim-like beliefs. Like, a lot of the things... They fight against uh, 
the same thing organized for religion fights against and but at the same time the people the left wing hippie protesters they're all against religion and I wonder how often they think about that. I don't know. Like, I don't know, I might be wrong. The Bible might say some fucked up shit about everything being okay and there's no good or bad or whatever. Can't read the Bible because it was taken away from me or I lost it. I mean, I, I keep telling people it was taken away from me, but maybe I just misplaced it. But I'm pretty sure people do not want me reading it. Because they think I'll go crazy and because they had bad experiences with it. Like, I, I'm probably protected from reading the Bible more than I was ever protected from doing drugs. Which is weird. Someone liked my comment on Facebook. I think Facebook's gonna die. I don't know, one of my friends said YouTube is on its way out, but I think YouTube's pretty strong right now. He said something like, shows like that midnight where they blend TV shows with Twitter I think he's maybe moving into another socio-economic bracket than me and um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry this is taking so long, I just walked for two hours. Uh, it's genuine cola.